Sebastian. Hi, my name is Sebastian Kotofana. I'm Associate Professor for Anatomy at the Department of Clinical Anatomy at uh, the Mayo Clinic. And in the December edition of the Aesthetic Surgery Journal, you'll find an article which is a little bit like a mythbuster. Because in this article, what we did, we investigated the relationship of the superficial branch of the supratrochlear artery and of the superficial branch of the supraorbital artery and their relationship to the ipsilateral vertical glabella lines. So if you look into my forehead, you can see here, I have these uh, lines. And the myth so far was that deep to this line and exactly deep to this line, there you will find your artery, one of these two arteries that I just mentioned. And um, it always was tricky to me, like, is it really true? I mean, is it really that the artery is right there? And uh, we did an ultrasound-based investigation, and we found it is not. The artery is not deep to this vertical glabella line for the same side. We found out that in males, it's around 10 millimeters lateral, and in females, it's around 8 millimeters lateral, which makes sense because females in general have a little bit of a smaller cranium than males do have. So it shows actually that the artery is not there. And this raises an important aspect when we treat the vertical glabella lines with soft tissue fillers. Because if you, as previously assumed, think the artery is deep to the crease, then you can inject next to the crease and you're safe. Because the artery is deep to the crease. But our study showed the artery is not deep to the crease. So that means when you inject next to the crease, in the good belief that there it's safer, you might end up being inside of the artery. So this is kind of the outcome of the study, which I'm very happy that we were able to show in a reliable evidence-based medicine that the artery is not located deep to the crease, but the artery is located lateral to the crease. And I'm looking really forward to you reading this paper. And of course, I would like to thank the journal and my co-authors and all collaborators for accompanying me in the study. Thank you very much.